Every day we all get up and try and make some money. That's what most humans do day in day out. You may make your money working in an office, cooking great food, writing great music. But some people don't make their money by creating things, but instead taking money from you. That's right, some people are big scammers and want your money and possessions. Today we're going to look at some new scary scams you need to watch out for. From a Bitcoin scam involving Elon Musk, to why you should never touch a USB drive you find in a wall. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at if you see this in a wall, don't touch it and call the police. If you want to learn about some more amazing scams and things you should watch out for, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. The first scam we'll look at is cookies. If you saw a cookie under your doormat, you would probably just ignore it. You would assume maybe some innocent kid left it there, and that's exactly why this scam works. This scam is all about how burglars and thieves gather information about your routine. If you ever walk out of your house and hear a crackle under your doormat, then be sure to check underneath it. There's a good chance under your doormat will be a crushed cookie after hearing a crushing sound. And this is a sign you need to call the police immediately. You see, burglars often place cookies underneath your doormat. This is a way for them to know if you've gone away on vacation, and also a way to learn what time you leave for work and what time you get back. They use cookies because they're seemingly very innocent objects. Also, it's very easy, they just need to check back and see when the cookies crumble. That way they know you've left the house and roughly at what time. And if they leave a cookie under your doormat for many days and it's not broken, this means you're likely on vacation. This is why when you go on vacation you should put your doormat inside. And also be hyper cautious for any crunching sounds when you leave your home. Next up is Flash Drive Scam. Imagine if you were walking to school or work one day and you see a USB sticking out of a wall. Or perhaps it's simply on the ground. A lot of the time people will pick these up simply to see what's on it. And sometimes they want to clear it to use the USB stick for themselves. But you should never do this. There's a common scam which involves criminals leaving USB sticks around. These USB sticks are rarely simply dropped by a normal civilian. Usually a computer criminal will stick it in between the gaps in a brick wall. They do that so you notice it, or sometimes they'll simply leave it on the ground. They wait for you to take it home and put it into your computer, and then the fun for them really starts. There will be a ransomware virus on that USB stick as soon as you plug it in. You don't even need to open any files, it immediately infects your computer and encrypts every file you have. You then need to pay them in Bitcoin, an untraceable currency, to unlock your files. Examples of ransomware include the WannaCry virus. In 2017, this locked millions of people out of their computer files, and made an estimated $24 million for the people behind the hack. The US, UK and Australian government said North Korea was behind the attack. But anyone can put this on a flash drive and leave it around, so never pick up a flash drive if you see it in a wall or on the floor. Instead, hand it in to your local police department. That way, if it's real, the owner can come forward, and if it's not, no one else will get infected. Next up is plastic bottle in car. This one is a new criminal ploy people use to steal cars. So whether you're a driver or a future driver, you should learn this trick. Did you know that before you get into your car, you should always check that your wheels don't have any plastic bottles wedged inside them? The reason why is because of this scam. Thieves will find your car parked up in a parking lot. They'll then place an empty plastic bottle inside the wheel area of your car. It may be at the front or the rear, but it's always on the passenger side, so it's far away from you, the driver. Then when you start your car and begin to drive off, you'll hear a crunching sound, which is the plastic bottle. Of course, of course you won't know that though, so you'll jump out of your car to see what's going on. You're being instinctive and are just popping out for a quick look. And that's the reason you don't turn off your car and take your key. But while you've jumped out of your car to see what's going on, a criminal has hopped in and taken your car. Or if they don't take the actual car, they'll take a valuable or two which is inside it. So if you see a plastic bottle in your car's wheel, then be sure to call the police, and obviously take it out. This is a famous scam which has been going on for years in South Africa, but now it's coming to European countries and the United States too. The scam is also apparently very popular in India, and if you search Facebook, there are thousands of people complaining this has happened to them. But a good way to avoid this is parking in a secure or paid for parking lot. Next up is Elon Musk Bitcoin Scam. Now, have no fear, a billionaire's not trying to scam you for Bitcoin. But if you use Twitter, you could be mistaken for thinking just that. 
Click on any tweet by Elon Musk and the top reply will say, I'm giving away 5,000 bitcoins to all the community. The tweet will be from an account called Elon Musk with Elon's picture. And it will even be verified, so it must be him, right? Well, no, this is actually a very popular scam which has been running for many weeks on Twitter. The scam happens every day and follows a very similar pattern. Scammers hack into a verified account. They then change the display name to Elon Musk and the avatar photo. They then reply to Elon Musk's tweet with the scam. And then they pay bots to promote the tweet so it ranks highest on the list of replies. Sadly, many of Elon Musk's followers actually fall for this and pay bitcoins to these people. But how exactly does the scam make money? Well, they usually link to a website where they claim to be giving away bitcoin. They simply ask you to send 0.1 bitcoins and then they'll send you 10,000 bitcoins back. Of course, they're doing this while pretending to be Elon Musk. Now, you may think, who on earth would fall for this? But Elon Musk has over 31 million followers, so some people do fall for it. Twitter say they're working to prevent this scam, but it's very hard to get ahead of. They've been banning many of these fake Bitcoin scam accounts, and even accidentally banned Elon Musk's real account once. According to the wallet, which the scammers linked, they got around 28 Bitcoins. At today's value, that's worth around $120,000. This scam is clearly lucrative, so stay away. And if you see these scams, be sure to report the tweet so Twitter can take it down. Next up is Car Envelope. This is another scam involving cars. It works like this. You get into your car ready to drive to work or the place you're going. But then you notice on the passenger seat, there's an envelope that wasn't there when you locked your car yesterday. This means someone must have broken into your vehicle and put the envelope in there. Inside the envelope will be a letter saying, We've tested your car's alarm system and there's a possibility for a break-in. As we demonstrated here, there's big security flaws in your vehicle. We expect some financial payment and in return, we'll send you a recommendation to make sure this never happens again. They're basically saying they'll offer you a security service. But really what they're saying is, we'll keep breaking into your car until you pay us. Ask a cop and they'll say never deal with someone trying to blackmail you. In the letter, they will attach a phone number and an account number to a bank account. But of course, you should never pay it, as this will simply encourage them to come back and do it again. Next up, we have Fake Cop. This popular scam originated in India, and it's also used in the USA. In this scheme, a scammer will impersonate a police officer. They may target someone like a new driver who's scared of getting a ticket or maybe an elderly driver who doesn't know any better. They'll pull them over by the side of the road and say there's been some scammers in the area. In order to make sure you own the car that you're driving, they need to look inside your wallet at your driver's license. The driver will then hand over their wallet, including their license. By the time the fake cop has given you back the wallet, some money will be missing. That's right, that fake cop has taken your money. This is why you should always ask for the cop's badge number and verify they're a real cop before giving them anything. You can never be too careful. Next up is Website Visitor. You may go on a website that looks very authentic, and then on the site it will say you're the millionth visitor and you've won a prize. You may begin to celebrate, but I wouldn't if I were you because that's exactly how they scam you. While you're excited about getting your prize and are clicking through exactly what you need to do, they say you have to pay for the delivery of the prize. You're so excited to get the brand new iPhone or the gift card for Amazon that you just pay the delivery without thinking. After all, the prize is worth a lot more than the few dollars you spend on delivery. But the scam is, they never actually send you any prize. Instead, you simply send them a few dollars for delivery and never get anything. They then do this on a mass scale to build up a lot of money. In some more sinister versions of this scam, you have to put in your credit card details. They say this is for you to pay the delivery fee, but instead, they simply steal all your information. They then use the info to hack and drain your bank account to zero. This trick may seem very old, but millions fall for it every year. And it's thought every year $7 billion is lost to scams just like this. Did you know the most common scam on this list is the Elon Musk Bitcoin scam? And those scams usually originate from India, Thailand, and the Philippines. Also, the main people to fall victim to that scam is Americans and British people, so watch out. But now it's time to make your opinion heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner. Have you ever seen one of these scams on this list in real life? If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.